We're at Electric Bread Gallery. What what are we here for? What we're we're here? here for my very first solo show, my very first uh, exhibition. Last year I was in, I think I did four last year and did all new work for all of them, so I felt that the next logical step was filling the place with all my stuff. How was it putting stuff up yesterday? Was that it? Uh, was it was good. It was a lot. I had a lot of help from a lot of good people, so yourself included. It was a bit. I was stressing out. It was very last minute. I was away on holiday last week. Well, up to the Isle Sky and came back on Friday and then set it all up yesterday. So it was it was intense, but we got there. Initially, I wanted to do all new stuff, and then I realised that I've got loads of cool paintings that I've never hung up before. So well, literally one of the first things I did there's some of my old sketchbooks from the very beginning as well. So nice to see old work in with the new stuff. That, that's for sure. So it's quite something. It's a nice feeling <laughs> seeing all your work up in one place. It's like a um, weird, like a weird door into your head that you get to walk through. You named a lot of these yesterday. Is there a favourite name that's jumped out of the skull? It's certainly one of my favourite favourite names, and it wasn't one that I came up with yesterday, but it's hanging up. It's the it's called a man who gets punched in tomorrow, and it's just from a really funny conversation. And there's 77 paintings to look at, which is hilarious to me because I didn't realise there's that many. This isn't mine, sadly. Oh yeah, I wish it was. It's uh, one of Roddy's. How are you I'm feeling good, yeah, I'm feeling good. I was a wee bit nervous the last few days, but uh, I woke up today feeling, feeling positive. So. had four hours of your gallery opening how has it went it, it's it? been great it's been great it was, it, was a, it was a great turnout we had a lot of people come down so it's great to see everyone I couldn't have hoped it to be better I don't think it was nothing that could have made it you know a, a more enjoyable afternoon the feedback was great I had a lot of lovely compliments about the, the humour in, the, in a lot of the paintings which has been it's great because some folk over the last couple of years it's taken a while for you know maybe for that to come through the way it has. When can people come and see stuff up so it's, night? it's open. It's open at the weekends. They open Saturday and Sunday every week um, between 11 and 5. But you can book appointments. You can just get in touch with the gallery and uh, make an appointment to come down and see it. Because Roddy's pretty much always here. Uh, during, during the week he's usually painting somewhere in his, week, his studio out the back. So he's always happy to show people around. So oh, if you yeah. want to come down and have a proper look at it in real life, it's all here. Get down, come down and see it. Support this wonderful gallery. It's a truly magnificent place and Roddy and Alison are just uh, some of the most wonderful people you can meet. It's even just worth it for the view, which is that that you're now seeing. Nuts. Totally nuts. But yeah, thank you. Thank, thanks to everyone that came down as well. If you came down today and if, uh, whenever this, whenever you see this, if you've been down over the two weeks, it's oh, huge appreciated. Hugely appreciated. Um, you can ask for a nicer bunch of folks. Mm-hmm. Really happy. Mm. Really buzzing.